Did your neighbor leave money on the table when they just sold their home? Hi, I'm Jeff Wheatley, and today I'm gonna to answer this question. You see, I'm getting a lot of people that are saying their neighbor sold their home, they're bragging about selling their home in less than 24 hours and 48 hours, and they're curious if they left money on the table. Well, today I'm gonna to cover three critical steps in this market to make sure that you don't end up leaving any money on the table. So the likelihood is if the property went pending in less than 24, 48 hours, there was money left on the table. Most of our offers are going up three, five, as much as 7% by the fourth to fifth day that it's on the market. So shutting it down early is really giving the buyers the advantage, taking a little bit of competition out of the market. So step number one is make sure you're seizing these properties at least four, five, six days. Most of our bank owns, pretty smart sellers there, are requiring at least seven days before they will accept an offer. So learn from the banks on this one. So the second place where I'm seeing sellers leave money on the table is ineffectively or not using at all the coming soon status. It's a great tool that our MLS allows us to pre-market a property for up to 21 days before anybody can cross the threshold to come into the property. What that does is it builds a ton of enthusiasm. So you wanna get the best photos it in the coming soonest status as early as you can to start to build that enthusiasm. So the third item where I see sellers leaving money on the table is when they're multiple offers accepting an offer over the weekend. You see that's less than ideal for two reasons. One, most people will do more out of fear of loss than fear of gain and Sunday night gets very lonely for buyers who think that they're not in the game any longer. So Monday morning, many times, buyers themselves will up their game. Second item is the buyer's agents are frenzy, running around doing everything on Saturday and Sunday, really don't have a great time to check in to make sure that this is their buyer's highest and best. So when we as listing agents reach out to all of our buyers to make sure that it is the highest and best that they have that they're bringing. It's much more effective. We get much more done on Mondays, Tuesdays with those conversations we ever do on a Sunday evening. So third and final point is if you got multiple offers, we should make sure that we're using a Monday or Tuesday to bring the absolute highest and best. So those are three critical elements in this hot seller's market to make sure that you're not leaving money on the table. Now each home, condition, neighborhood, all varies. If you wanna talk strategy on your individual needs, please reach out directly. I absolutely enjoy getting the strategy to sell for the absolute most amount of money. I'm Jeff Wheatley and I wanted to thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.